Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time I kind of abruptly ended right here. It's because I was playing in the hallway right outside my room, because that's where our computer desk is. And someone came home and, you know, I didn't want them making a whole bunch of ruckus. So, we're, pretty, we're exactly back where we left off, and, wow, this video is pretty fucking dark. Not gonna lie there. Whatever. I'll try to make it better later on. Oh, where's my shoe? Oh my god. Oh, hold on a second. Oh shit. Again, I fucked up my controls for for this. Fuck. All right. After another fucking fuck up, I'm finally fucking back. All right. So what I did was I fucked up and I had my shield set to F instead of numpad zero. So I had to go do that. And then when I did do that, I fucked around and I accidentally put L on numpad zero instead of R. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Oh, I'm glad he dropped a heart. Never been this close to dying before. On this dungeon. Or, yeah. It's not a fucking dungeon. No, I'll call it that anyways. Whatever. After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there are some interesting things, interesting things underwater. And not here. All there is is a switch. All you gotta do is exactly what she tells you to do. Dive into the water. And the water level lowers. Mm. Now I'll probably end up looking for like a master quest ROM or something. I don't know if I could find one, but if I do, I might help you that one. Since I don't know when the hell I'm gonna get a capturing device, or if I ever will get one. But I don't want to continue my console LP co console LPs until I get a capture card. Which I know some people do it without one, but whatever. I don't, I don't want to be that type of guy who that's all he does. Let's hold on, I'm going to try and move this back a little bit more. Let's see more of the back, the left side, let's see. Yeah, that's good enough. I wish this is like the only game I can think of that would... That's going to be easy enough to grab the block and pull it back. There we go. And I wish the top of the screen wasn't so dark, but you know, at least you can see all like my action icons. You can see how many hearts I have. So you can see the A, B icon and crap like that. You can see all my C buttons and you can even see when Navi talks to me. Whatever. Just light those two torches with your Deku stick. Ow. And don't get hit in the process. Let me see if I can get another heart out of this one too. There we go. Back up to full life. Now this room. Oh, yeah. There's actually an easier way to kill him. Just stay back and... Which I don't see why since they made this the way you have to come in at. Why they would have him turn around like that. Now there are like baby gomas or something hanging from the ceiling. I just ignore those. They're not threatening, but don't feel like fighting them, so all you gotta do is come through this hole, and we end up in the room where I started this. Now, wow. <clears throat> I should be able to beat this dungeon in one video, or, well, in this video. But if not, whatever. I don't really feel like making a boss fight an extra video. But I do have some crap to cut out. It's not a minute's worth or whatever. Which I'm only about a minute away from the boss. So it shouldn't be too hard. All you gotta do is light that and then just run back where you came from. Now you can either swing or roll. I roll. And then I put the thank you stick away real quick and drop straight to the water. Now that one thing said the code to these guys was 231. So you just walk up to the middle one because that's obviously the second one from the left. Walk up to this one. It's, he's the third one from the left. Which, oh wow. 
the graphics from this thing are so down or a little downgraded compared to oh, you got Z target there we go they're eh, I guess a little downgraded because they're supposed to glow blue when you hit them yeah well whatever hopefully that fans not making any noise Mom finally decided to turn on damn air conditioning, that's good. And she, that DQ scrub all does teach us how to defeat the boss. So here we go, into the boss room. Boo doo. Which is, I got 11 minutes. And I started this at 116, so 106 would be 11 minutes. Or no, 105, or, I started this at an hour and 16 minutes. So, 11 minutes would be an hour and 5 minutes, so, we're good. And the only thing I do hate about this is since I I can't hold it still, I gotta keep doing this, but whatever, it works anyways. Which I pretty much do have a practice file for this. And I don't think I'll touch it really because every time I start that file up, I start out back in the Link's house. Then I need to be on the other side. Z target, plot a dinky stick. Because it does more damage. And then I learned that from watching Nintendo Capri Sun's LPs. And then you just want to stay Z targeted on because when she's up here she'll lay eggs and if you shoot her down before she can, that's always good. You gotta be able to see the right of her eye and then hit her. Oh, you bastard. You just spin attack in there real quick, jump attack, and boom. Finished. In my opinion, easiest boss of the game. Well, no doubt, first boss, easiest boss. But then again, I also find the Spirit Temple to be easy also. But, ah, the next video is just going to be the, a long cutscene, so... This has been Let's Play... I was about to say Splinter Cell Convict. This has been Let, Let's Play The Legend of Zelda's Ocarina of Time. I'm KVK Caboose, and I'll see you guys next time.